Okay, as you can see, we've uh, set up some lines here. Now, the blue line following the spine is the spine angle tilted forward. The bottom blue line is the shaft plane. And the top blue line is the plane the shoulders should be turning on. What we'd like to see is the club on the way back stay on the, uh, the lower blue line until about the spine. And then the handle or the hand is going to move up to the top blue line. And you're going to see that the lead shoulder and the lead forearm are going to be parallel to that uh, top blue line. So let's just advance it in slow motion, uh, real slow, let's see what happens. As we move back, you can see he's lifting up automatically. Now he's taking the club pretty far to the inside, and he gets to the top, and he's not in too bad of a position. Uh, the club's a little more uh, upright uh, than we'd like to see, and the reason it's more upright is because you can see that the forearm uh, on the uh, trail arm is not parallel with the spine anymore. See the spine line, see he's got that elbow pretty far back. If he dropped that elbow back to where it was parallel where his spine was, the club shaft would be perfectly on plane. Now let's watch what happens as he makes the transition. I'm just going to move this through manually here. As he makes the transition, he comes, brings the club way over the top to the outside. That club head needs to drop down this way. Um, that's the inside out swing. If he's coming out over the top, he's creating a very steep descent to the ball, which makes it very hard to make solid contact. What he's going to do is he's going to top it sometimes, or more than likely he's going to hit it fat or chunk it into the ground. So what we're going to watch is we're going to watch how this club continues outside the line, stays way above the swing plane. Uh, you can see now that the head of the club is right on the top blue line where the hands are starting to come back down to the bottom blue line where they should be. Uh, you can see that his, I'm going to clear everything out of the way so you can see it easier. You can see that the trail elbow, instead of being tucked down in front of his hip, is sticking out behind him to the right a little bit, to his right. What we need to do is we need to get that elbow tucked in so that the golf shaft sits coming up this, this line uh, right here. So the shaft is parallel to the trail arm forearm on the way in. That would create the nice inside-out swing. So let's move that back to how it was. Now we're going to advance this a little further. You see the club is way out to the outside. He's going to chop down on the ball. He's pulled up and out of his stance. And he hits across the ball. So while his hand-eye coordination allows him to make contact, sometimes he's been complaining that he's getting way too many fat hits. And that's because he's coming in so steep. So what we worked on today was just getting him a little bit better rotation of the, of the uh, body on the way back so that he's more on plane and he doesn't lift up. And then more importantly, he drops that right elbow down in front of his right hip or his trail hip, and he's able to drop the club back down under the swing plane.